Hello everybody, my name is V Narendra Kumar and we are from NRK Academy. Today we have got this 28th story called the stag. Stag is a male deer, D-E-E-R. Uh, and this is uh, from a series of Aesop tales, A-E-S-O-P tales, the great uh, moralistic story writer, uh, the old uh, Greek times and retold by Leo Tolstoy. And this is part of a series called Master Reading and Listening with Grammar Analysis. So a stag, let's start, a stag, a stag went to the brook, brook means river, to quench means satisfy his thirst. Now look at the connecting words, A is there because you, you need to put an article, you, you just can't say stag went, a stag went. Because it's singular, a stag, and it is uh, not the because we have not yet particularized the stag. A stag, you can't say go because in simple past tense the story is over. So in simple past tense, go becomes went. A stag went. Where did he go? To the brook. So two is a relationship. Two is a relationship to the brook. Brook is a river. To quench for what? To the brook. To quench. So this too is different from this too. This is a purpose and this is the relationship. A stag went to the brook. Where did he go? To the brook. For what? To quench. His thirst. Not somebody else's thirst. His own thirst. So now the sentence is absolutely clear. A stag went to the brook to quench his thirst. A stag went to the brook to quench his thirst. See? He see, saw himself. He saw himself. Right? Like a mirror in the water in is a connecting word here see he saw himself in the water that particular water and is a linking word begin began began is simple past tense to admire his horns and he was seeing so there's a short form seeing it, it is actually means he was seeing there is silent seeing how large how large and branching they were. Branching means you like, their, their horns are really like branches, you know, you have this mane and then you have this side branches. So look at this again. A stag went to the brook to quench his thirst. Went, why, why did we get went there? Because go becomes went in the past. To is a linking word. Relationship. For what did he go? To quench. Quench means satisfy his thirst. Absolutely clear. He see, saw himself in the water and as a linking word, begin began to admire. Admire is like appreciate himself. His horns, his horns, you know, on the top of the head. He, seeing, he was seeing, he was seeing is silent, comma. So comma becomes a linking word, right? Seeing how large and branching they were. Were is a past. It's R becomes were in the past. And is a linking word again. He looked at his feet and said, but my feet are unseemly, unseemly and thin. Unseemly means not normal. Unseemly means not normal. No problem. We have got this new word meaning. Now let's see this sentences. He saw himself in the water. He began to admire his thoughts. He was seeing how large and branching they were. Three sentences. He looked at his feet. He said, but my feet are unseemly and thin. Six sentences are linked into one sentence. But the linking is so easy. See, he saw himself in the water and began, begin becomes, began to admire his horns. He was seeing, he was his silent, seeing how large and branching they were. Were because it is the past tense. It's past and there's no verb there. So R becomes were. And he looked at his feet. Look becomes looked. He looked at his feet. He looked at. He looked at his feet. And is again a linking word. Say becomes said. And said, but. See, but. You know, it's like, it, this should have happened, but it's not like that. But my feet are unseemly. You and unseemly and thin. Unseemly means not normal, ugly. Suddenly a lion sprang out. Suddenly, quickly, a lion sprang out. Which means jumped, simply that. Sprang out means like he jumped on him. And made for the stag. Made for means rush towards. Made for is an expression in English. It means rush towards. Made for means rushed towards. Made for the stag. The stag start started. To run over the open plain. The stag started or began to run over the open plain. 
the stag, the stag, because you're talking about that particular stag only. Start becomes started. And what did he do? To run. He started to run. Over, over is a preposition here. Be careful. Over, on, the open, the open field, that particular open field, uh, plain. Plain means like grounded, no, not hilly. He was getting away. He was getting away. Like he was escaping. Getting away means escaping. But there came a forest and his horns caught him the branches and the lion caught him. He was getting away. There came a forest. His horns caught in the branches. Catch caught in the branches. The lion caught him. Four sentences are linked so simply. See, he was getting away. He was getting away. But is a linking word there came a forest so came come came in the past tense come becomes came a forest one particular forest, one general forest and linking word his horns caught in the branches and again a linking word the lion caught him as the stag was dying as means while during that process here as means during the process as this while during the process as the stag was dying past continuous tense he said he say becomes said in simple past tense right he said how foolish i am how foolish i am that which i thought to be unseemly and thin was saving me and what i gloried in has been my ruin has been my ruin so that which, that which is a linking word, right? That which I thought, which is a referring to that. Which is referring to that actually. That means horns. The horns which, right? The horns which, that which I thought. No, sorry, legs, uh, thin um, feet. That is feet. That which I thought, think thought. Because he thought in the past tense. Think becomes thought. To be unseemly. Why be form here? Because it is an adjective. And thin was saving me. Was saving me. Past continuous. And is a linking word. What I gloried in. Gloried in. Gloried means admired. Admired. Gloried in means admired. Has been my ruin. You have to have. Has been here. Because it is just completed. Has been my ruin. Like it's a fresh action that was completed. So it is like a passive voice has been my ruin or in the passive form has been or be form has been my ruin. Now let's read it three, four times. You'll understand this sense. How foolish I am exclamation mark because it's like a cry that which that which that which which means the feet me is that the feet which I thought to be unseemly ugly and thin was saving me and is a um, um, connector here. What I gloried in here. What means? his horns i gloried in means gloried in is an expression it means admired has been my ruin you are was my ruin. you can say was my ruin has been my ruin but we have used has been here leo tolstoy has used has been here because it is a fresh action completed has been my ruin my ruin means my destruction i have been defeated by life so that is a harsh story but what we think is very beautiful could be a ruin. What we think is ugly could be saving us. How true that is, isn't it? Now let's see if you have got the full story perfectly. A stag went to the brook to quench, satisfy his thirst. Thirst means, you know, thirsty. He sees or see becomes saw himself in the water and begin becomes began to admire, appreciate his horns. He was seeing, he was silent, seeing how large and branching they were, were because it's past. And he looked at his feet and said, say become said, but is a linking word, my feet are, it is direct speech. So it is are only, like present, unseemly and thin, unseemly means ugly. Suddenly a lion sprang out, jumped out and made for the stack, made for his advanced English actually, made for means simply run. He went towards, right? Made for means run after. The police made for the thief means, actually it is in advanced English, they ran behind the thief. Made for, went to him. Made for the stag. The stag means male deer. The stag started to run 
over over the open plain he was getting away he was getting away like escaping getting away means escaping but there came a forest and his horns caught in the branches and the lion caught him as the stag was dying he said how foolish i am that which that is feet here see this that is feet which is referring to that feet that is feet that which means feet which i thought to be ugly unseemly and thin was saving me and linking word what i gloried in gloried in is admired has been my ruin we have put has been here because it is just completed action now see a stag went to the brook to quench his thirst he saw himself in the water and began to admire his horns he was seeing he was silent seeing how large and branching they were semicolon see semicolon is simply to like a comma but in a larger sentence and he looked at his feet comma and said see become said but my feet are unseemly and thin suddenly a lion sprang out and made for the stag made for means run after came after the stag started to run started to run over the open plain he was getting away escaping but there came a forest and his horns caught in the branches and the lion caught him as the stag was dying as the stag was dying past continuous he said how foolish i am that which i thought to be ugly unseemly and thin was saving me comma and what what which is what here what means refers to the horns right the branching out horns and what i gloried in which means admired myself you know has been my ruin we have kept has been because it is just kept now when we read it fully you'll get it fully a stag went to the brook to quench his thirst you got it satisfies this he saw himself in the water and began to admire admire his horns see you read every word and see the linking words admire his horns seeing how large and branching they were and he looked at his feet and said but my feet are unseemly and thin suddenly a lion sprang out and and made for the stags ran after the stag the stag started to run over the open plain he was getting away escaping but there came a forest and his horns caught in the branches and and linking word the lion caught him as the stag was dying he said he said how foolish i am that which i thought to be unseemly and thin was saving me and what i gloried in in what i admired has been my ruin see it seems difficult but if you break it into parts if you do the grammar analysis if you repeat it and learn the new words and finish around 400 plus stories that you're planning you will be a master so that completes the story i'm sure you enjoyed the story the beauty of the story the moral of the story and especially the mastery of the reading that we did here thank you so much in the next video we'll do the 29th story called a dog and the wolf thank you